Hey, Quentin, where are you going? I'm, I'm going, going to the fixing, fixing bar. bar. <laughs> well, Happy New Year to you all. Hello. Happy New Year to you. <laughs> yeah, you too. I got to see the Saltera in person today. Yes, I, I heard. How, yeah. How was it? Well, I um, was kind of hoping that it would be on the show floor for you to like walk around. Okay. Maybe peer into the window. Maybe be able to see what the center console looked like and everything. Because, yes, you you can check it out online and everything. But right. as you know. Yeah, it's better in person. It's better in person. It's more live scale. But the Saltera was on a pedestal behind this roped off area. They had a guy there that like knew everything about it. Uh -huh. uh, and so I was just kind of ear hustling and listen to, listening to him talk to another uh, uh, attendee mm. about like why this is the best all-electric uh, Subaru ever. It's uh, the best all electric Subaru e ever. It's the first electric Subaru ever. Well, it's the best one of all of them. So yeah, I, it's one not wrong. Is yeah. <laughs> that that's one thing I I I I really hate about tech companies. Like this is the best phone we've ever created. Why would you create a worse phone? Yeah, like this, why this would... phone is worse? <laughs> like, <laughs> like no, we we completely understand when there's like. Good, better, best of your line of phone, like Samsung, for example. Right. You know? But even they will go, like, like this is the best budget phone we've ever created. Like, no, don't do that because... It gets old. It just it's, gets it gets old, and then it's like, all right, so next year I'll just wait for the next best, and then I'll wait for the next best. I right. mean, we, we've already created a really bad uh, custom to, like, I'm just going to get the next best thing in tech. Right. But going back to the... The Saltera. Yeah. For those of you who are watching and listening and don't know what the Saltera is, it is their first all electric. Uh, What's well, an SUV, right? Is, or is yeah. it a crossover? It, it, I would put it in the SUV category it, yeah. or like mini SUV. Yeah. If, if if anything, like it fits the bill. So if you're looking for an all electric SUV, or if you live in a place like Utah or my friends over in in Ohio that just got like almost what looks to be six feet of snow like party uh, yeah get get this kind of vehicle because because you'll you'll be fine it, it's got the adaptive what's it called what's it, it's it, it's the it's the all-wheel drive right where like basically every wheel has its own motor and right. it can kind of balance out and mm -hmm. everything yeah i have i have the most important question of all oh did they have a price no a freaking no, of course not, course not. Oh. No, no, they they did. So they so so at this particular car show I went to, and I want I, I want to thank your friend for letting me know about it because I wouldn't have had crap else to do today. Mm. Um, but she let us know on on Snapchat, and every almost every car there they had that sticker that you see at dealerships, and they would say, yeah, this car is this much, and this car is this much, but you save this much because this reason or whatever. Right. Uh, because you have two feet. Congratulations! So Tara did not have any sticker. Oh, it, yeah. Now there was a little ramp because I'm assuming at one point uh, an actual uh, Subaru representative would do the Vanna White thing, like ah, I look inside, but not too close, kind of thing, you know. And they because mm. there was a, it was on a stage, and so I I kind of crept up there, and that's how I took that last photo of the back end of the car. Mm. I I crept up behind it um but then i kind of like saw at the corner of my eye a bunch of the employees going hey who's is he supposed to and so i like i like walked out i just made a beeline yeah, like, like, i was i was on press press yep. yeah yeah <laughs> press press uh for electric cars because this does android auto and i do android auto review things sometimes yep go check out the channel no but it it was it was a really nice car it's very understated like if you don't know what it is mm. it's not like a tesla right like when you see a tesla like whoo there's right. a tesla right uh this looks like a subaru the the big difference is this very akin to the the ford mach e which is their like all electric mustang kind right. of crossover vehicle um the front bumper is just very sleek because there's no engine, right? Right, so they can just there's no grill to have to put on there, so it's just this very beautiful glossy kind of front end right. uh, that looks a little odd, <laughs> you know. But yeah. um, 
<laughs> it looked like the it was the front end was a lot longer than I expected. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. You, again, these are photos from you versus you being in person. So. Right. And also they're photos from me from possibly an angle that you would not want a car to be photographed in. Right. Because it does kind of... The angle that I chose was more artsy mm -hmm. versus showing off the actual attributes of this new vehicle that we've been talking about for, for a few months now. Right. Well, I can't believe you didn't run up there, stab one of the employees, and run inside the car and look inside. That was uh, that was my next option. Sure, uh -huh. yes, that was that was on the on the list. Right. Uh, but I did get sidetracked because I looked over at the to Toyota area. They had some Toyota Supras, and I love the Toyota Supra. Did they have the? Um, did they have Toyotas, like, Solterra? Hmm. Because. The Solterra is a partnership with Toyota. Right. So Toyota has like a Toyota version of the Sol Solterra that has some changes to it. They do? As far as I know. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm, I, was... I might just get the Toyota version then. Why? <laughs> well, okay. This this is a great this is a great question, right? Because yeah. I feel like to you, you are all in Subaru. Uh, I'm I'm all in quality, but what like what's pulling you that way? Well, the quality of my current car, my Toyota hybrid Corolla hybrid car vehicle, four wheels, it's been great. You mean the one that's on fire right now? Oh my god! <laughs> 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 no, but it's 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 been great, you know. And um, yeah, the, you'd, you'd have to look at the differences because yeah. I know there's something, but I couldn't tell you. What yeah, it if is. if the of all it was was a price difference, just because. Uh, One of them has a brand name that's Well, let, like... let's let's be honest. Subaru's brand name can ask for more money. I don't know. You can Toyota also makes trucks and stuff though. Like the Well, yeah, if you get into <clears throat> like the pickup truck area, sure. That's where that's where we have not we, but that's where Toyota has the leg up over Subaru. Right. But if we're just going for like for like, I feel like uh because of Subaru's marketing mm -hmm. and their demographic uh, their demographic does tend to be a little bit more affluent. I'd be very curious on like what Toyota has, like a, a Toyota blank versus an Impreza. These, th this, this conversation is getting rough because this is almost like a conversation for really like techie car people. Yeah. And I'm and not, we're that. not that. We're not that. <laughs> yeah. So, so we're like speculating. So, on so like a so very, if, like fairly out in the weeds. Stuff yeah. If, if, like, if, if you're listening and you're like, do not compare an Impreza to a Camry. Like, I'm sorry, but those are the only, like, names I know. Like, I, I don't mean to be ignorant about this particular topic, but if you were to tell me, quick, name two uh, two cars from Toyota and two cars from, from Subaru, like uh, Forrester and Impreza, Camry and Corolla, there's obviously so much more. Right. And there's a lot of nuances. Not, not to mention... two from Ford. Well, not two from Ford, uh, F-150 and uh, Mustang. Okay, I was gonna say if you say F two fifty, that's just cheating. <laughs> F one fifty, F two fifty, F three fifty, F four fifty. There's no, one, uh, there's not an F four fifty. There is now. There, there will be. There will be. That's you never a, know. That's, that's between you and Mr. Me. Ford and I said we we, we spoke right, we spoke words. Chevy, Impala. Okay. And uh and uh, Silverado. Okay. Uh, yeah. See, I've watched. Damn, the, now I'm running out of car brands. Well, I, I, I I've so I've little. watched I've watched enough <laughs> Top Gear uh, and those like those kinds of car shows right. to be like, okay, I know what I know what stop brake horsepower is and and McLaren, I, McLaren, McLaren, Mc what? Answer the question. <laughs> uh, one that goes super fast and the other one that's kind of fast. Oh, I actually took a picture of one today. No, 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 no cheating. Name two cars for McLaren. Um, well. Uh, McLaren did have an STS. Uh, it was a McLaren. There's the McLaren Sienna, right? right? Okay, yeah, Senna? Senna, Senna, Senna. Yeah, it was named after a guy. Oh, okay. Um, it's S I E N N A. However, now, however now, how, you pronounce the, that. I'm, I'm assuming you're getting that from Forza. Maybe. And what's the other cover Forza car from the same brand? McLaren blank. McLaren. One of us is pronouncing this wrong. Anyway, let us know in the comments or however you want to let us know. It's the P1. It's the P1? Yep. 
This is the 2015 cover car for Oh, just the McLaren P1? Yep. Okay. Part of me thought you were saying it's the one that starts with P. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> so in my head, I'm like, <laughs> You're like plasma. Continue? <laughs> Punky Brewster. No. It's, Photon? It's, <laughs> like, it's the P1. Okay. It's my personal favorite. Well, that's from 5, right? Yeah. That's uh, not not, Hors- not not Horizon, Motorsport though. Five, yeah. Motorsport 5. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Uh, I went to the Peterson Automotive Museum. Okay. They all said McLaren. Okay. This is this is me this, being the, the. This is my he's um. His hand this like, is my like, um. Actually, on. yeah. This is my um. Actually, moment. I'm so excited for you. I'm 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 glad you are excited. But anyways, it was a good time. Um, and uh, there were other vendors there, of course. Right. One vendor makes complete sense. Mattresses. So <laughs> there. <laughs> At the car show. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now here's the big question: Was bamboo any, mattresses? Was there any free swag? Where's my bag? You got a swag bag. I got a sw- I, I got a. Oh no! I put it under. I got a swag bag from Ford. Okay. Because I test drove the Mach E. Okay. Uh, great vehicle, by the way. But um, yeah, I test drove the Mach E, so they gave me a uh, a bag that's an insulated bag, so great for grocery shopping. Very cool. Very cool. Not that I'll ever remember to use it. Um, but yeah, uh, we got lunch, one g- taking food for a picnic is more. Like yes. Looking. That's another thing, but we already have a bigger one, uh, over there too. Sometimes so you don't need a big bag. I don't know. I'm just, just keep going. You got, you, got you to have to justify everything <laughs> and try keep to, going. I want to know what's in the bag. What's in the bag. A beanie, a All Ford right. beanie. Okay. Uh, I got, Ooh, one that I'm going to use quite a bit is the Ford microfiber cleaning cloth. Okay. Uh, and a um, rubber uh, uh, holder for uh, hot pans and stuff. You know, I was gonna say spatula. <laughs> What's well, not actually too far off? You weren't too far off. <laughs> like it's just like the it's most, a kitchen appliance. It's a kitchen yeah. appliance. Yeah, because we're Ford. What does this have to do with cars? So next it time, next up. time, <laughs> I'm I'm grabbing the cookies out of the oven. I'll look at my hand and say, you know what I really need. A new car. A new car. A new car. Yeah. Yep, that's, Thank that's you, you for You're making cookies. Yeah, you totally. Like, yep, car. Car time. I'm thinking more maybe like camping. Like take take the little thing to go camping and... I guess. And like... Sure. You got yeah. your cast iron over the hot fire and you need to move it around. Well, the, the, the funny thing about it is it looks like a puppet. So Yeah, it's a little squishy one, Yeah. Right? So yeah. We, we gave your wife all of our googly eyes. Right. But if we ever buy more, I know what I'm using two of them for. It's 2022 now. Okay. Yeah. And was it 2015, 2016? It's when you and I went to CES. Was it 17? Was it 17? I think it was 17. Wow. Okay. Well, that's how far I'm off. Whatever year it was. As I sneakily look at my phone, waiting for you to continue your thought. Sneakily? Like, we can see you clear clear as day. Nope, no You're right see, there. No one can see this. This is this is invisible. So we're not on YouTube right now? One thing that we saw at uh, CES was were, were some of the projects that weren't necessarily going to come to market, but okay. the concept projects from Razer. You remember that? Oh, man, which one would you like to talk about? (laughs) Well, I want to talk about the new one, Project Sophia. Oh, there's a new one. Yeah. And yeah, just just confirm, 2017. Okay. Um, There's a modular desk. Okay. So I know you're not a huge fan, but you know in Star Trek... Modular desks? I know you're not a huge fan, but you know in Star Trek The Next Generation... All their screens are touchscreen, and then you just go, you just drag things around, and it like it's like faders and stuff like that. Never seen Star Trek. You've never seen it. I think I've seen a grand total of probably forty-five minutes of a Star Trek movie. I don't think I've actually watched any of it. Okay, so take my word for it. Okay, I will. <laughs> Everything is a touchscreen. Okay, so they're just going boop 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 boop. They and, drag and drop everything. Well, and then also like when they're beaming somebody in or off of the Enterprise, there are these like faders and they just drag their finger across the screen and the faders go up or the faders go down. Okay. That's what this desk does. So you have basically capacitive touchscreens of these 13 like compartments that you can modularly, modularly, no, that's not a word. 
you can interchange you can them. Around. You can move them around. <laughs> all right. So, so some of them are like a wireless charger for your phone. Another one will will heat your coffee cup if you want. Okay. There's volume knobs and stuff like that. But again, they're not physical knobs. They're just these these touch screens where you drag up the volume and you drag down the volume. Okay. And then these these other ones as well too. The desk itself is a computer. It's a computer desk. Okay. So it's all built into the desk. Presumably, if this were to ever come to fruition, you go to Razor for any kind of like part replacements or what What's have it you. Again? Project Sophia. Okay, keep going. A- and it is connected to an uh, to a monitor that is either sixty five or seventy seven inches. Oh my word! Four K monitor. Yeah, yeah. So that that's why this is a a a a, a concept because if you got a seventy seven inch monitor 4k monitor that's that's gonna be like up in the it's gonna be hard to like look at things like you're like <clears throat> doing like this like trying to look at everything you, what what's the resolution on the screen 4k i don't like it like if it, it would need to be like 6k so you could like have like this portion of the screen be the game or something Mm -hmm. and still be 4k, Mm -hmm. but I don't want to play on this. There's a reason I don't play on the 55 inch at home. Mm -hmm. Other than the fact that like input lag, there's a reason I don't actively pursue a 55 inch monitor. (laughs) Yeah. So the monitor aside, I know you're looking at their official website right now with it. Just the concept of, well, first off, would you ever get a desk that's also a computer? Um, Let's start there. I would be... Or would you make a desk that's a computer? I've seen those. I like that. Okay. Like the, Especially the ones that are very... Like, it's visually pleasing. Yeah. And then very, like, accessible. Like, it's not like, okay, you built it, but now if you need to do anything, it's a pain. Right. Like, I'm not about that. But the, the desks that I've seen that have, like, lift tops or slide outs and stuff mm-hmm. like that, so you can do maintenance but have this gaming desk thing like i like that okay i I could see myself doing it i'm not necessarily committing to that like i i like a tower but i could see especially if i had a house Mm -hmm. where it was more of a a permanent residence like not to say like my house isn't a permanent residence but you get what i mean i see what you mean yeah um i could definitely see building a gaming desk where okay. I know for a fact, like, this computer isn't going anywhere. I don't need to worry about, like, reorganizing yeah. anything. This can stay right here. I, I like that idea. My whole issue with a gaming desk is if you make it look as beautiful as you are saying that they should be, um, <laughs> I wouldn't use it. Because then it's going to get all the Tony crud on there. Like I'm yeah. going to have coffee stains or I'm just going to have, you know, whatever else that you see, like all this dust and everything. Like I don't want to disrupt this work of art that I've, I've created. Right. I want to show it off. Sure. Cause I'm a narcissistic bastard. <laughs> so when you come over or chef or whomever comes over, like, Hey, check out what I did. Like, Oh my God, that's awesome. We'll f- talk about it for like a half an hour or whatever. And then you go like, oh, so what do you play on here? But my answer is nothing. Uh, this is all that I do. I just want to show it to you. I play on that, and I'll still have my original like tower. <laughs> you be like, what the heck? You put a thirty ninety in that, but you still have a sixteen fifty over there? Yes, because reasons. Yeah, I'd be very curious what it takes to run the thing. Because another idea that when I when you would... say the thing, you mean the project Sophia? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, uh, project Sophia. Like it's it. Go look it up. It's it's a very pretty desk. Um, my only thing is, like, I would almost want an external device running this thing. Because it's so sophisticated, I would want an external thing to run it so I could upgrade the external computer. And then the internal, like, the display, it can just, like, develop over time. You know, they can release software patch. Cool, there's a new feature, whatever. Yeah. But, like, that's always my question with computers, especially, like, desktops, is you need to have the ability to upgrade. And that's the question I have with this is, like, it, it says it's – it well, it says upgradable. Yeah. Now, I literally just scrolled to that as I'm saying that. It literally just <laughs> scrolled to integrated upgradable CPU slash GPU desktop yep. gaming module. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, at least they thought of the thing. They I thought, thought of the of. thing that you thought of. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's definitely very gamer centric, and especially with the the sheer fact that, um, you know, if, if you were to buy the desk with the current top of the line 3090 ti that oh, nvidia word, just announced so expensive it would be super expensive but then you know nvidia is going to go ahead and continue on and be like hey we have the 5090 now You're like oh well i want to upgrade my desk can i do it and the answer is yes that's that that would be that would be plausible and it does it by a thunderbolt eGPU. my question is how where's <clears throat> the like with that desk does it show where the io is like where all the USB ports are? Oh, they had something for that. RAID controller, network performance, 15 watt wireless charger, Thunder, Thunderbolt hub. They have a vague picture is what I would describe it as that looks like there's a ton of ports. If all of like all it says is Thunderbolt 4 hub, right? And there's like I can see that this this is relating to that, right? Yeah. So therefore that is relating to that. And you can see a bunch of dots and lines. So I well, don't know. I don't want my IO right on the top of my desk. I would want it underneath the desk. I want to hide the wires. Well, I think that's forward facing. I don't know if it has rear facing as well. I mean, shoot. I mean, I don't know how it would have... Re well, no, uh, right there. Look at that. Okay, like yeah, maybe. there's some rear-facing. There's, there's a There's rear-facing something. There's, there's, little, a, yeah. there's little black dots underneath okay. the monitor that we're assuming are ports, but that's the thing about assuming, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the only... The, honestly, that's the only pie-in-the-sky, like, announcement that came out of this CES, which, honestly, you know, kind of fell flat this year. I, I really I I missed it, honestly. You like, didn't miss much. Like the things that came out of CES, definitely could have just been an email. There, there was no actual reason for people to to to, to go there. It was dead. Uh, a lot of companies, including Microsoft, decided not to go. And if there were any announcements, it was going to be like in partnership of Qualcomm, in partnership of Lenovo. Mm. But Microsoft themselves didn't do anything. Even even uh, a lot of the press junkets like CNET and and Gadget pulled out. They they did all of their reporting remotely. Huh. You know, or yeah. or you know be, because of, of who they who they are, they got a chance to get some like private hands on with whatever it was like the week before, and then they they just published it of the week of of CES. Interesting. So. Yeah, I, I this this year was kind of a throwaway year, if I'm being honest. <laughs> there was, however, one other um, piece of kit that I thought was very cool, and that came from Samsung. Okay, Samsung Odyssey Arc. So you just you just said you wouldn't want a big f off screen because you'd rather do 4K gaming in a standard 16 by nine. But there are games that you've said, well, okay, a cockpit would be really cool. Mm -hmm. This is very much of a cockpit kind of screen. Now, while I don't know how much of an angle of curvature it has, if you look it up and you look at it... Name again? The Samsung Odyssey Arch uh, Arc. 49-inch curved monitor. What's really nice about this... And it's curved this way. So, no, it is it is not... That can rotate. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I'm like, it's curved vertically, not horizontally. Why? <laughs> yeah, so it, it's curved around you like a cockpit, or you can make it stand up in portrait mode and have it split up. So you can have your game on the bottom, your email in the middle, and Netflix at the top, mm. for example. I think that's really cool. I like, you know, for someone like myself who has like a weird monitor setup, um, I really need to get a third monitor again. <laughs> well, for someone who has a weird monitor setup, that would completely replace what I have right now with no qualms whatsoever. Right. Because I, I would have more than enough real estate to be able to do all the little weird things that I like to do with my Windows. Not the operating system, but the actual Windows right, right, right. in the GUI. And this, I, I think, I mean, it's, it's an Odyssey monitor. It's beautiful as hell. It is beautiful. What's the... What's the? It's a 4K monitor still, though, right? Well, they're not going to do 8K. Well, I'm just more like when you rotate it, you're going to lose that pixel density. 
And so what what did that what did that even be? If your game, if you take a fifty five inch any any fifty five inch screen that's four K, you rotate it vertically and then put your game in the middle. Oh man, what what is? Because you gotta you gotta separate the lengthwise. But oh my word, I'm not even in the mood for this math. The, nonetheless, it it seems like it would be a high resolution, but not the highest resolution. So I take it or leave it. I I try it. I don't know if I'd I'd just commit and buy it. But I would definitely try it. Well, that's the thing. Like the article you've got pulled up there, does it give a guesstimation on price? Ooh, dollar signs. Let's see. The forty-nine inch. Okay. Will cost you twenty-five hundred dollars. Okay. That is so much money for a monitor. It's gorgeous, but no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like I think having two or three or even four separate monitors where you can manually position how you want them to look. For me, it, it's, it's a better get. Yep. Definitely yep. a better. 100%. And I mean, not just fiscally speaking, but also then I, I, I'm, I'm not literally pigeonholed to like, well, I got to eat either this or vertical. And that doesn't make sense. So right. I'm just gonna have it like this, like a cockpit. <laughs> yeah, you can't you can't do like th- curved monitor vertically, and then two like if you do two or three of them, they have to be perfectly like Aligned. next to each other. They can't they can't be this way because then you got this like weird gap thing yeah. going on. Um, I have seen some. Th- this guy was playing World of Warcraft on the on some of the older Samsung Odyssey monitors uh-huh. that are also very giant curves, and he had five of them. And he was playing um, World of Warcraft on it. And if you look at the comments, almost every single one of them was, why? <laughs> why Why would you, what are, What are you getting out of this? What is this accomplishing? What do you, do? I, I, if yeah. you're just showing off how much you, or how much money you can dispose of, good for you. But otherwise, why? Because you're not gaining anything. Right. You know? Um, if it were something like, well, there's no monitor mount where I could stack all five horizontally, so I can only stack them, hor- you know, uh, vertically right. side by side, I guess. But then you have those gaps that you can't get away from because you've got bezels. Right. No, I, I remember the, when we were at CES that year, there was, Samsung had a display of like three curved monitors that had a cockpit set up that were yeah. all this way and that's really cool because it gives you that 180 degree field of view thing going on and yeah. that's that was cool but i yeah i don't see any use for any more than one curved vertical monitor okay yeah so again this year's ces kind of a letdown but hopefully one of us are going to get this monitor and it's probably not going to be me in eighth grade, what did you wear? What did young... A uniform. Really? Yeah. Okay. Outside the uniform, because that's the same answer that I had. I look like a Smurf. What about you? Because I, um, I, I, I had a navy blue sweater that I had to wear with white with a white polo. Sev- seventh grade, we had... Was it seventh? Great. I'm trying to remember. I think it was a yellow shirt. Very bright yellow. Really? Yeah, like like a a darker but bright. Okay. Yellow. Very full. Okay, so but during that age range, uh-huh. what did you wear outside school? Outside school. Um, what was the Quinton style? Pants. No, and not a shirt. Th- what kind of pants? Jeans, maybe. Baggy? No. Fitted. Couldn't tell you. Like what you wear right now? I literally couldn't tell you. I have no idea. Really? I've I've got nothing. What about, okay, shirt. Um, Obviously not a collared shirt. Uh, What kind of shirt? Like graphic tee or just color? I mean, if I had a graphic tee. What kind of graphic tees were you into? We grew up hella poor, dude. I don't don't remember anything of like clothes. It was just like, put them on. Okay. (laughs) I Uh, had no sense of like fashion or anything like that was like put on you you are required to wear three articles of clothing at minimum which are underwear pants and a shirt like, oh so no socks 
Good to know. The, at, at minimum, <laughs> minimum. Oh, at minimum. minimum. Okay, you can okay. Flip flops, right? Like, <laughs> you're good there. No, you were required to wear three articles of clothing. And then go from there. Were um, the the kids that you were friends with were they at all uh, aware of, or was fashion at all integrated into your social status? Not to my knowledge. Not to your knowledge. No, okay. Because like, at school we wore uniforms, so yeah. nothing there. And then outside of school, I didn't associate with a lot of people. I didn't have a lot of friends, okay. so it was just kind of. Yeah. Were there anybody in your school that adhered to the uniform, but on that line where it's like, that's not the uniform. It's like, well, I'm wearing it. And they never got in trouble for it. No, it was, it was khaki pants, yellow shirt. Do you, cause you're a little younger than me. So I, I wonder, do you, do you remember the fad of the Jenko jeans? Nope. No, no. What's that? Basically they were jeans that look like, abnormal bell bottoms you you have to look it up uh, uh, here let, like for everybody that does not know Plinko? what what was it j n c o oh oh like this oh yeah uh, yeah so uh, did so 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 my question to you no, is it was if if i you, you did jog one memory uh-huh and during my time when i was working the popular thing was baggy shorts like, uh, like, like cargo shorts? No, just like shorts that went to like here. But like they're big. Like they were meant for someone bigger than you or taller. Or okay, I like might that. have been a part of that problem. I apologize. Um, <laughs> no, then, the, the, the reason like, why I bring up the Jenko jeans is because with our uniform, like I told you, we were Smurfs. A white polo or button down, a blue sweater, um, and then black or khaki pants, we could choose. Wow. Yeah, we had an option. So I always wore black yeah, pants. Like a rational person. Like a rational person. Thank you. And I also wore, you know, comfortable shoes. Not super fancy, mm -hmm. but shoes. Um, the popular kids got the black Jenko or beige Jenko jeans. Ugh. Wore the Wore the belt that would... Like, I don't know how you would call it, but it was the, the, the belt that had all the crisscrosses and then you would just make a hole in the belt. What's that called? Do you know what I'm talking Deering about? Deering belt? Kind of like that. Okay. So, uh, but. Well, you did jog another memory. But. You mean like, a like a braided belt. A braided yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like a braided belt. Exactly. But the, 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 the one end that comes out of the buckle would go all the way down to your knee. If it wasn't to your knee. What the hell were you doing? It either goes to your knee or it doesn't. If it goes to your like upper thigh, what, what are you doing? Quentin, what are you doing? And so they would get away with this. And then they would, you know, they would put their foot up and everything. And I have, again, very comfy, but obviously dress kind of shoes. And they would have air walks. Okay. I, I'm clearly not a cool kid because I don't have all these things. And then it would be one of those days where you could dress down. Mm -hmm. And like you, I would have just jeans, no big deal. Shoes, no big deal. Socks, always, always socks and underwear. Uh, but then what's on top? Um, because I am who I am, I like the button down. You know, so I, I would have my own. So you were in your teens and still wore a button down. Dude, I, w I used to wear suits going to the mall because I loved wearing suits. Okay. All right. <laughs> But to be on the more casual side of it, I would have a casual button down with like short sleeve <laughs> shirts or something. Down. Tony has never dressed down. I'm going to inundate you with like this. This is dressed down right here. It's not dressed. Down. I am dressed down. You're barely dressed. Okay, so oh, okay, you did jog, you did jog a little bit of a memory though. Okay, I can tell you a little bit more of what I wore, which was dicky pants. Oh, I wanted dickies. Dicky pants. Yeah, always with the double knee. Yes, you have, have to do the double, double, double knee. knee. Yeah, have to um, do the double knee. Obviously, hard worker here. Um, Clearly, I mean, I did work at like Lagoon. Like, I worked in an amusement park, and I worked in like a grungy area of the amusement park. Yeah, like air walks. See, I never got air walks. Though that's with the cheap stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. Like Dickies and air walks. That's like that's like bottom barrel. Like, how did you not get them? Here's why. Okay, so all all. You it, got slapped every time you didn't wear college shirts, and that's where it all comes from. <laughs> it's like a PTSD thing of Tony has to wear a college shirt or else he's going to get hit. 
So here's the thing. Um, I don't want to say my, my, my mom dressed me because that sounds disgusting. Um, but she did styled have you. Yeah, that's the that's the better way to say it. She styled me. And and where most kids would say, no, I'm not going to wear that or they would wear it be, be, begrudgingly. Right. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm adopted or what, but I was just always very happy. Like there were some times where I wanted to be the the rebel and wear the upside down pentagram shirt or whatever. And, you know, put the American flag upside down and burn it in front of my parents, oh my word. Um, oh. which is something that happened. And um, that's a different story. But um, yeah, when, when it came to like that sort of stuff, I was just kind of happy to get something so yeah. i did get it my, my mother did buy me janko jeans but but oh, it was really? but it, it it was like um she, she got me ones that weren't too baggy like they were baggy enough but not too baggy that i would like trip on myself uh-huh. so she was being you know very weary about that um i don't blame her no she's not wrong at all however when it came to like airwalks and dickies, this is where my mother's upper crust c- comes out. All being although we were very much like middle class family, she liked to have this appearance of we're not cheap. Mm. So no, she wouldn't buy me airwalks, but she would have no trouble buying me the new Reebok. Or the new Jordans or whatever. To the point that if I go see a Skechers shop now, or I see a DSW, well, not DSW, but like a Skechers or a Payless shoe store. Right. Payless my, is gone, but keep going. Sure. But that kind of concept where it's like, hey, get a shoe and hopefully it fits. Kind of like mentality. like, And it's going to be cheap and it's going to work for a few months. My first initial gut reaction is, ew. I would <laughs> never go there. Are you kidding? <laughs> this is my mom's fault. Um, and... And no disrespect to people that go there and shop there. Good for you, and I'm glad you're getting well, it's something. Part of your upbringing. That's just and it's 100 percent part of my upbringing, and I 100 percent blame her for that. <laughs> but I always wanted Airwalks, and she bought me a brand new pair of Vans one time, and I was like, "No, you bought the wrong skater shoe." And my dad was like, "You don't even skate." You're like, "Oh," my and I was soul. like, "That's not the point." <laughs> so in retribution, I bought the biggest. Wallet chain I could find. I had a wallet chain at one time. It was black and red, and the colors wore off. Oh, see, I, I, yeah, mine was just the metallic water w- wallet. Water. It was just the metallic water. Wow. Give up. I give up. He, what he's trying to say is it was just metallic. Like there was no <laughs> color to it. The you know chain that attaches to his wallet but here's what what was uh, annoying for it was when every time like my knee would bend mm-hmm. it would get caught on my knee i had that like once and that's when i think i i think it was it was that moment that i stopped doing the chain and then there was another moment on a plane that i used to have the um lanyard out of the pocket and there was one time on a plane, it got caught on a seat and pulled my keys out of my pocket. And I noticed and okay, immediately okay. grabbed it and everything. But it just annoyed me to the point where I'm like, and we're done. Okay. Yeah, no. Um, the, the the wallet chain knee incident, not a big deal. because It was just like more of a nuisance, right? It was the wallet chain bike chain incident where I said, oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah. I fell pretty hard. We'll just we'll just leave it at that. But I I I did not completely get rid of the wallet chain though. I, I just downgraded to the triple chain. Just a little whip. No, the triple chain. What's the triple chain? Well, you have three chains. Well, that doesn't sound like a downgrade. No, it's a downgrade because it's not as long. It's just more flamboyant. It's like whoppa instead of a whoppa. It's just a whoppa just right here okay. or on my on my right side though. All yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. I have a double chain upstairs if you want to see it. I can put it on for you. I, you need to downgrade your shirt. No. You got to get rid of the collar. I, I, ha- I have. I have. can't wear a collar and Look, a chain. Look, I have the smart wool underneath. You can't underneath. wear a collar 
uh-huh. and a chain. Well, you can pick one or the other. That's why I didn't wear the chain today. Right. Right. So look, I know how to dress myself. I'm not a. I'm not inept here. When 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 we go and see. Oh, and by the way, I need to buy the tickets. But when we go and see Motionless and White, I'm not going to wear a collared shirt. Thank you very much. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not going Genuinely to. Genuinely. Would not be surprised. I'm not going to. I I know I'm going to be probably the oldest person there, sure, but I'm not going to wear a college shirt. You sure? 100%. You sure? 100%. I feel like you're going to wear like a tank top or something and you're going to get there and you're going to be like, it's a little cold and you're going to put on a college (laughs) shirt. Either that, either that, or it's going to like, universe is going to force you to, and it's going to be like, you get inside the venue and some lady trips and spills like ranch dressing on your black shirt and it's nasty now and you're like crap i got to go like buy something and they're like hey the only thing we have is, is a emotionless and white freaking collared shirt, shirt. Yeah, yeah that's the only thing we've got left okay okay but that's but, in your size but everything here, else is extra small <laughs> but but here's where i would get a pass is if i bought band merch no it's still collared no nope. no no it's pass. still a pass it's still collared it's a pass no it's the only one they have left. No, it's it is not 100%, a hundred percent. It is the pass. I put it into the universe. <laughs> it is not a pass. It is a pass. I'm getting a pass. Everyone is watching and listening. No, gives me a pass. No, you're a monster. This is this is life for you. <laughs> Tony was born in a collared shirt. Did I wear a collared collards? shirt yesterday? I did not. See. What, what did you do yesterday? Did you go out without the collared shirt? Did you go outside the house? And I mean more than just like. To get the mail. That's not the point. No. No. It is that's the not point. the point. It is the point. I watched the Niner game, sir. Wow. We won. In a jersey, right? Maybe. I'm going I'm going to, for your birthday. I'm going to buy you just like 30 color non-colored shirts. And then I'm going to raid your closet and give you just one colored shirt option. Yeah, that's never going to happen. It, it's going to happen. You're gonna never going to be allowed in my off. closet. No, no, no. You're you never going to be allowed in my closet. Um... Let me try to think. When we when we went, uh, when Are we you trying to list off another date in which you you wore a non collared shirt. Ah, yes, I remember three years ago to the day. I <laughs> no, remember no, not no, wearing a collared shirt. I had a collared shirt no, with no, me, no, but I decided no. not to. For all the, for, it was no. so funny. It was a riot. I wasn't <laughs> wearing a collared shirt. It was so funny. When we went sno- when we went snowmobiling. <laughs> Did I have a collar shirt? <laughs> You're not helping your case. I don't remember. <laughs> that time we went outside and went snowmobiling, back in the, my day, we didn't wear the collar shirt. It was a riot. <laughs> Tony. Look, look, I like what I like. You like what you like. I've, I've given up trying to get you to at least wear a collar shirt. There, there's, there, look, there's even... A collared shirt manufacturer that is designed for people that don't like collared shirts. I been wearing a collared shirt to work. That doesn't count. You have to. It's been an. It, it, uh, blah, 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 blah. No, it's it's uh, been blah, a little blah, different. Blah, blah. It's no. been a little different. We, we it's like a pullover, th- not a pullover, a uh, like a flannel on top of a regular shirt. Wait, how's that different? It's not just a regular, like, put on a shirt and it has a collar. You're still still wearing a collared shirt. I know. Isn't it exciting? Yay? Yeah. Anyways. There you go. <laughs> Anyways. Tony was excited. I was not excited. What I'm getting at is if I, stro- if I stop trying to encourage you to step outside your comfort zone and maybe look at some other other collared shirts that might suit your interest your fancy maybe one that has like some sort of destiny logo or a or a a a, a, a halo thing on there or or something something that you're like wow that is re-, or a titanfall thing maybe that will come about and you would wear it mm-hmm. but before you say I no, been, well, but, 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 let, let me say my piece. My I'm, com- not, I'm not, I'm not right, done talking. Right. I'm not done talking. I'm done trying to convince you. And with that, you should also be the better man and stop trying to tell me when and when, when and, and when. where and why and how and how 
I should wear my collar shirts. I'm saying you should wear less of them. When I'm at home, because I went out no, today. No, 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 I'm saying when you go out, uh -huh. you should not wear a collared shirt. Do you know why I wear collared shirts, especially right now? Why? Because I'm warmer. Even with the jacket, even even with this smart wool on, the, the, the collar does help. You can't deny, like, an extra layer of fabric. Just, just covering a little bit of the neck can help just, a, like, a smidgen of degrees. They have a thing for that. It's called a scarf. I also have a scarf. Okay. But, I, but, like, with the four scarves that I have, I, I, I only wear scarves with certain attire. That's what that is. Like I, I, I was gonna answer something though. Is you're you're choosing the wrong hill to die on because it's like you're you're like you need to wear more colored shirts and it's like you're not stepping outside your comfort zone. I actually am. I've I've got like pullover hoodies right now. I've got like two pullover hoodies that I bought in. Well, I have I've received. I own now in this last year and before that, the last time I owned a pullover hoodie was. Oh, it's got to be 2008. Okay, so just your your standard hoodie. Yeah. No, no zipper in the front. No zipper, just pull over and you got the little the big pocket, the kangaroo pocket yeah. in the front. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I haven't owned one of those since 2008. We would never come to an agreement on this. <laughs> and I can say without reservation, I wear t-shirts all the time. All the time. But what do, what did I do today and what are we doing right now? I'm on camera. I got I'm gonna look good on camera. I think I look pretty good. I got a white shirt on, I got a nice little jacket, I've got a beanie. I'm looking good, I feel like. You you are the more casual side of life and I'm the more like pragmatic. That's a way to look at it, yeah. And there's there's honestly nothing wrong with that. Now, now here's where I would say Yes, I agree with you where Tony goes a little bit too far and why the hell is he doing that is my lovely pocket watch that Aurelia got me and that I use that with my waistcoat at least once a week. Why the hell do I do that? Because I freaking can. And I love every second that I wear it and every second that anybody like goes, oh, or he goes, <laughs> I don't care. I love that. Whether I'm peacocking to somebody else or peacocking to myself, I feel better. Mm -hmm. Ha. <sighs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and or listening. You can find us on Instagram, Still Recording Podcast. And for those of you that want to follow us individually, how can they find you digitally? They can't find you is the answer. No. You can find me at Firewall on Instagram and Xbox. You can find me in those same places under Lazy Tech Tony. I'm also on TikTok. He's not. I am. He's and not. Until, yes, I am. And until the next time, y'all have a great one. Later. Bye, guys. Hi.